The oceans cover over 70% of the planet, but only a few million divers know what lies below the surface. By using new technologies, the general public will be able to experience an innovative way to discover and explore the underwater world. Digital Ocean, the Blue Planet, our last digital frontier. Phase one, underwater data gathering. The first phase of the Digital Ocean project consists in gathering underwater data that will serve to recreate a virtual map of the diving site. This process can be offered to professional and institutional clients such as tourism offices, marine protected areas, coastal resorts and hotels, and scuba diving clubs who wish to promote their underwater sites among the public. To achieve this, we use a light autonomous underwater vehicle called LOV, which collects submarine information. The bathymetry of the site is the most important data needed to reconstruct the diving area in three dimensions. The LOV can also record geolocalized audiovisual content for seabed texturing and for realistic illustrations of points of interest that will enrich the virtual underwater world. Phase two, virtual underwater site editing. Once the underwater data is collected, we use it as the base to recreate the virtual map of the site. The editing of the site can also integrate data collected by diving clubs and scuba divers. For example, underwater photos, videos, and observations taken during their dives can be uploaded and geo-positioned on the DigitalOcean web-based collaborative platform. This diving community collective participation allows us to enrich, complement, and update the information collected during the first phase by the LOV to then be integrated into the virtual site. The audio-visual content collected by the community, especially on local underwater sea life, can be linked to the project's e-learning marine biology module and can also be used to define gaming scenarios. L'idée, c'est que la personne, en visitant le site, puisse récupérer des données multimédia, photos, vidéos, et également euh, des points GPS. Phase 3, Discovery and Gaming Experiences. Once the virtual site and gaming scenarios have been created, new gaming experiences can be offered to the public. Our games allow multi-users to play online and discover the virtually recreated diving sites. The players must complete different missions in order to advance through the game. The users can play these games in swimming pools, just with a mask and a snorkel, by mixing aquatic and virtual immersions in order to obtain a real multi-sensory experience. This is made possible with our interactive waterproof console, called the Dolphin. This innovative device simulates the feeling of scuba diving at sea for people who do not or cannot dive, such as children, elderly, or handicapped people. It can also be used for an interactive first dive experience. The Dolphin console can also be used at sea for another type of application based on augmented reality and online communication. Snorkelers swimming around an underwater path can communicate with other users or with other people through the internet. The dolphin can also be used to collect new audiovisual content. With its HD camera, GPS, and Wi Fi antenna, this console can allow users to take geo localized photos and videos that can be added and shared on the Digital Ocean Collaborative platform. All this information can then be accessible via the dolphin console allowing other snorkelers using it to follow a multimedia guided tour during their trail, enhanced with edutaining exploration games. Phase four, distant virtual diving. The Digital Ocean Project also brings to the public the concept of distant virtual diving. 
Our web-based underwater robot teleoperation module can allow internet users to practice taking control of the distant remote operated vehicle, or ROV. It will therefore become possible for anybody connected to the web to virtually and simultaneously dive with real scuba divers, located in a real spot anywhere in the world. An ROV equipped with cameras can also be controlled from on board a dive charter to follow the divers while underwater and to share their subaquatic exploration live through the internet with anyone connected around the world. DigitalOcean will allow the public not only to surf the web, but to actually dive into the web and into the oceans.